Hey friends, today we are going to Epcot's International Festival of the Holidays 2024, and I am so excited. This is my favorite festival of the year, and I can't wait to take you guys around World Showcase, show you all the new food offerings, the holiday entertainment, and hopefully complete the cookie stroll. I love doing the cookie stroll. It's where you go around and you try Christmas cookies from each country around the world, and at the end, you get a nice little completer gift, and I figured I'd make a video and share my experiences with you. So we're going to eat some food, ride some rides, and have a festive festival of the holidays kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Here is the passport for this year's Festival of the Holidays. And like I said, I'm probably most excited for the cookie stroll on the back of the book. All you have to do is buy five of these cookies. And you can even buy the same cookie five times if you wanted to, but that's just no fun. And then you get stamps, and once you complete it, you get a special uh, festival treat at the end for free. And it's so fun to do. And also, they have so many good entertainment this year and lots of good food that we're going to be snacking on and trying. On top of the cookie stroll, my second favorite thing about this festival is the storytellers in each country. They have like a version of their Santa Claus telling the history of the holidays per country. And I think that's such an awesome experience and a great entertainment because you learn about history in another country and also you learn a lot about Christmas and the holiday season. So we're going to try to stop in and visit each storyteller like Father Christmas and the barn santa and then snack on some cookies i think we're gonna start our day here at communicore hall because they have the first cookie on the cookie stroll in there and it's a new cookie it's a uh, spaceship earth tile gingerbread triangle so we're gonna get our first cookie our first stamp and then make our way into world showcase Another really cool holiday entertainment they have at Epcot is the Candlelight Processional. And it's uh, hosted by uh, celebrities. And in fact, tonight, I think Josh Gad is actually here. And he's going to narrate the Candlelight Processional. And he's the voice of Olaf. So how fitting is that for the uh, Festival of the Holidays to have Olaf here on uh, the first day? It looks so festive in Communicore Hall, and I think they have a gingerbread spaceship Earth this year, but this is what we're coming for. Look at that. Spaceship Earth okay. tile gingerbread triangle. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. I absolutely love it, and I love that it's glowing and it changes colors. I can't wait to actually try one of the uh, triangle uh, gingerbread uh, shingles from here. It's going to probably be delicious. Very excited. Oh, what's up, man? Happy holidays. I love running into people wearing my shirts. It was so cool. Thanks so much for saying hi. And I came outside because I wanted to show you uh, the gingerbread tile like uh, under the light because it's a little dark in there. But look at this. It was $10 for this. And like I said, it does count towards uh, the uh, cookie stroll. So we're one stamp down. Got my first stamp right there in the corner. And now we're going to try the cookie or try the tile. I lost my icing. I'll make sure to let you guys know what my favorite cookie of the festival is. I'm not the biggest fan of gingerbread cookies uh, to begin with because I think they kind of, they taste a little dry. You got to have a, a particular taste for gingerbread. Uh, but this one's pretty good and I like the theming behind it. They even changed the name to Epcot Prototype Cookies of Tomorrow. And I think that's fancy. I also found out that they have a special show on the Gingerbread Spaceship Earth in there that goes off every 30 minutes, so maybe we'll try to check it on the way out. I want to keep moving along and make our way into World Showcase. I'm not going to finish this cookie, though, because I don't want to get too full. We are going to eat maybe five, maybe six cookies today, so I got to put this cookie down. Put that cookie down! Look at all the cool festival boots they have over here. I know that uh, a couple of these boots have cookies for the cookie stroll. And this one's serving a bunch of nuts. Cinnamon glazed almonds. They have eggnog. I think we're just going to make our way down to Mali Kaliki Mai, which is uh, the uh, Hawaiian boot that actually has a cookie for the cookie stroll. Another thing I really love about the Festival of the Holidays is all the music. Whatever music they're pumping through, it's like my favorite type of Christmas music. They're playing all my favorite songs. 
here it is and I'm excited because they have like a bigger picture with all the cookies on the cookie straw and I'm not too sure which one this is oh it's the coffee mocha cookie look at that and the first cookie was ten dollars but I think all the other cookies are kind of uh, affordable yeah it's three dollars and 25 cents so if you want to skip out on the gingerbread shingle you could just buy five cookies that cost three dollars and 25 cents and still have the completer uh, treat I ran into my friend Kristen right down Main Street and we both got cookies look at this and then you got some pulled pork I there I got everything I got the sweet potato with the pork this smells so good. And yeah. I have salmon here. You want some? Oh, I do not want that salmon. I'll stick to the cookies, thank you. <laughs> this cookie looks so good. I'm not I know. a cookie person. This might be like one of the only ones I get, but it looks so good. And they got a nice little coffee bean on top. Exactly. I wonder if they're edible. It's like an espresso martini. With... We need three beans, though. <laughs> yeah, three like beans. Bean. Cheers. Cookie cheers. Cheers. <laughs> And with the second cookie, we got our second stamp. I actually got three stamps because I got a bonus stamp because I bought two cookies. Like I mentioned, you could just buy the same cookie five times and just go redeem uh, the special uh, festival, uh, festive treat. Uh, but uh, they stamped it twice because of Kristen's uh, cookie. And uh, we're going to dive in. Time to, time to taste the cookie. I feel bad I didn't do the traditional break on the gingerbread tile, only because it was a tile, but now we gotta break this cookie open. I have high expectations, and also I've got icing on my fingers now, but look at that. Nice little coffee cookie. Oh, this is good. Especially if you love coffee, because I love coffee, and this cookie has a strong coffee taste to it, but a little sweetness to it, and I have a feeling it's going to rank high, but we still have the Linzer cookie in Germany we have to get to, and a couple others. Like I mentioned before, I don't want to eat all of the cookies because our goal is to complete the cookie straw, and I don't want to get too full before then, but... I can't help but take another bite of this cookie because it's so good. And I love coffee, like I said, so it's like the perfect cookie for me. If you don't finish all of your cookies from the cookie straw, they actually sell a little like commemorative uh, like to-go container that has a lid and you can uh, pack up your cookies and stroll with them. I like that. <laughs> I'm probably gonna focus more on the cookies today, not so much all the other festive food, only because it's like a kind of tradition to always do the cookie stroll uh, for the opening of Festival of the Holidays. I remember doing it with my mom and sister a couple years back, and I think they came down for the last year one too. Sadly, they're not making it this year, and it makes me sad. Since we just got a cookie from the stand over there, and this is the uh, stand where you go to pick up your completion uh, tree, I think we're going to make our way towards Canada and the United Kingdom and maybe stop in uh, the United Kingdom and see uh, Father Christmas. Since we already had two cookies, I think maybe we'll try like something savory now because you don't have to buy every single cookie. Like I said, you just have to get five of them and uh, you have room to kind of pick and choose which ones you want to get. The next cookie stop is in Canada. I think it's a snickerdoodle, so I, I don't want to pass it up, but like I said, I don't want to eat three cookies in a row either. The cookie at the Yukon Holiday Kitchen booth in Canada is the peppermint pinwheel cookie. I've had that before, uh, so I think I'm going to skip over it. It's a really good cookie. I kind of want to make sure I try all the new ones, but they also have some of the uh, good food here. They've got beef bourguignon and uh, a seared salmon, but I'm going to keep moving along. There's a lot more booths that I want to try some of the food at, and like I said, more cookies. Since we're not going to be getting anything to eat at the uh, Canada Pavilion, I think we're just going to make our way into the United Kingdom so we can see the storytelling with Father Christmas. And they have all the times listed on the My Disney Experience app. The next one's at 1.30, so we just got about uh, 20 minutes to get over there. Father Christmas usually does his... Uh storytelling in the back of the pavilion but i like all the christmas decorations they have up it's kind of nice look at this look at that one right there they should sell these in the store Father Christmas is one of my favorite storytellings, and uh, there's a lot more, like I said, there's one in every single pavilion, and they have like a little pedestal and like a little display sign that kind of gives you some background information, uh, but I can't wait to show you guys the barn Santa. That's over in Norway. He's very mischievous. He's kind of like uh, the sneaky Santa, and I like that. It's, kind of, it's such a cool story. Here we 
become a wandering so sad to greet you. Hey, hey, hey. To all those gathered on the streets of this fair village, greetings. Allow me to introduce myself. I have been known by many, many names. There are some that call me Santa Claus. But here in the United Kingdom, I am Father Christmas, and I bid you welcome. We gather today to toll the devil's knell. One stroke for every year since the birth of Christ. Now let's see, where was I? Ah, yes. 65. 66. 2024. 2024? <laughs> We're going to be here for a while, aren't we? Everyone get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> we will get back to that a bit later. At any rate, I have been around for many, many years, bringing holiday joy to good children across the land. I have received letters from many of you this year. But people like you, my friend. And you, my friends. <laughs> and you... You certainly are expecting an awful lot this year, aren't you, my friend? <laughs> Ever the optimist! <laughs> Pay very close attention. Now, as I was saying, the ancient tradition of Jingle Bells! <laughs> very, very good. I think we're ready, Catherine. Now, everyone, would you please join Catherine and I as we sing the traditional Welsh Christmas carol that we all know is called... Jingle Bells! <laughs> Jingle Bells? Deck the halls? Oh, deck the halls! Yes, of course! I said a traditional Welsh Christmas carol. Indeed. Jingle Bells isn't even from England! It's from New Jersey or someplace like that. <laughs> Story time with Father Christmas is so amazing. It's so magical seeing him come out, ringing the bell, and then singing songs. And I didn't put in the full experience only because he's there for quite a bit, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what it's like in case you plan on coming to visit Festival of the Holidays yourself. Now we're gonna keep moving along, maybe try some more food, definitely more cookies, and some more of the holiday entertainment. I made my way over to the France Pavilion to check out their holiday kitchen. They don't have any of the cookies on the cookie straw here. They do have the frozen hot chocolate martini, which is a very popular drink, especially during the Festival of the Holidays. But I might just keep moving along. Père Noel is doing his storytelling over here, and he's got a nice little setup. And I think the next one is uh, uh, in a half an hour. So if we don't come back and uh, check on him, uh, maybe we'll do it the next time we're gonna try to make our way over to the morocco uh, pavilion so that we can try one of the cookies there and then go back and backtrack to go see Père noel and and also we also have the hanukkah storytelling so we got a lot happening in just these two little areas and uh i'm hoping that uh, we get to you know do them both Right next to the France Pavilion, they have Laheim. And I know that they have that classic black and white cookie here because I get it every single year. But I wonder if they got anything different. Oh, looks like they got pastrami on rye, potato latkes. And there it is, the black and white cookie for $3.25. It looks like it's going to be good food this year, but the line is pretty long here. I don't know if, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to go uh, get a cookie and then get back to watch Père Noël. Yo, I had a little magic happen. A friend of mine grabbed me a cookie since uh, she was waiting in line already. So now we get to try it and uh, hopefully be able to make uh, Père Noel. Look at this. Look at this black and white cookie. It's so soft. And the uh, chocolate on top is like almost melting. So we got to give it the, the official cookie break, even though my fingers are going to be covered in chocolate afterwards. I tried to go right down the middle there, but now we're going to dive in. Mm. I don't know how to shut the camera off. <laughs> this has got to be one of the softest black and white cookies I've ever had. Usually the uh, chocolate on top is kind of like a candy shell, but it's actually like liquid. It's like, you know, sticky. And I like it. I think it's so good. I probably would definitely put this above the gingerbread, but not above the, co uh, the coffee cookie. The coffee cookie is still at the top of the list, but we still got some more cookies to go. 
I love my Muppets Christmas Carol shirt. This is probably my favorite Christmas movie of all time. In fact, this ghost, I think it's the first ghost, used to scare me so much when I was a kid. Just in the Muppets one too. And to be walking around Epcot with one of the shirts on is so cool. If you guys ever want to buy any shirts from Roosevelt, I have a link in my description. I think you get a discount too. And uh, they, like I said, have some pretty good Christmas shirts coming out soon. Can we all say this? Bonjour! Bonjour! Très bien. And as we say in my country, Joyeux Noël. That means joyous Christmas. Matana. Let me ask, do you know who I am? Oui, je suis le Père Noël, Father Christmas. I am the good spirit of the season. Well, en France, if you shall write a letter to me, Père Noël, and put a return address on the envelope, and the French government pays the postage on my reply. <laughs> he come to me from a lovely little girl named Babette who live with her old uncle Louis and her brother Francois on a farm in Nilepo in the mountains of Provence. A letter! It will give you a bit of the flavor of the holiday season en France. I could tell. Hello, well. Do you believe in Christmas? Slavia, since they with me. Merry Christmas in the language of my country. Hair Noel was so fun and it was great listening to him. I think his speaker was broken because he was very soft spoken, but still I liked it a lot. And now we're going to move along because I think the Hanukkah storytelling is going to start immediately after him. So we're going to try to hop over there. Nagila Hava, Nagila Hava, Nagila Bay Nismecha. Hava, there is Nana, Hava, there is Nana, Hava, there is Nana Bay Nismecha. Shalom, everyone. My name is Zachary. I'm thrilled to celebrate Hanukkah with all of you here at the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. I've been traveling for a while. I'm finally home just in time to celebrate Hanukkah. And during my time abroad, I traveled from one corner of the world to the next. I learned two things. One, the world doesn't have any corners. And two, people in different places and cultures, they all celebrate Hanukkah in their own unique ways, and it's all beautiful. Did everybody out there know Hanukkah is the only Jewish holiday not mentioned in the Torah? It's true. It's why there are so many different ways of celebrating the holiday all throughout the world. Every Hanukkah celebration, though, does have one thing in common, and that's the telling of a story. And it's not just any story. It's a miraculous story is the story of our ancestors, the Maccabees. Picture it, it was 2,000 years ago in the land of Jerusalem, and there was a temple to the Jewish people. It was the holy temple, a sacred place of worship. It was, well, I wish I could describe it to you, but I can't, because it was desecrated. Quickly stand together, brothers. We cannot let the temple fall. They are coming. They are here. (laughs) It was 166 BCE, and an opposing army marched on the temple, 40,000 well-armored and well-trained soldiers and their adversary, a small band of Jewish rebels known as the Maccabees, led by Judah the Strong. The Hanukkah story was a lot of fun because it added a little bit more of a musical storytelling, and I'm glad I caught it. We literally walked up just as it started, but next we're going to keep moving along, make our way to America, and uh, try the holiday turkey there. It's one of my favorite things, even though I just had a lot of turkey for Thanksgiving. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed a nice dinner with family or, uh, you know, got to go out and try some food when they're hanging out here in the parks. I remember taking my mom my and Bonnie to Chef Mickey's for Thanksgiving dinner one day and it was so fun Uh, but now like I said we had leftovers turkey now it's time to have some more
The stage is all set for the candlelight processional later on tonight. And it's going to be probably a sold-out show because Josh Gad is pretty... I mean, he's a pretty well-known actor, especially within the Disney community. So I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to see it, but I'm definitely coming back and seeing it eventually this year because I love like just seeing all of the uh, uh, singers and cast members come walking down with the candlelight. It's such a great experience, and my mom loves it too. Since I'm not actually getting a cookie from every single holiday kitchen, we're going to be bouncing around and going from different countries and skipping over countries. But I'll come back, like I said, and make a full video. Just, you know, touring around the whole festival of the holidays. We made it to the American Pavilion. And look at the Christmas lights are starting to turn on. And it's also starting to be a little bit gloomy out. Looks like we got some rain. Just a light sprinkle. But uh, we still got, like I said, a cookie stroll to complete. So we're going to keep snacking. I came for the turkey dinner. And look at that. You get turkey, stuffing, green beans, mashed potatoes, the works. And then I ended up getting the Snickers Doodle Cookie, which is a part of the cookie stroll. And that marks us at four cookies, only one more to go. And I like I got a little sweet and a little savory something. And like I said, I'm pretty stuffed on turkey, but I can't pass this up every time I come here. I think they even have like little tiny onion straws on there or something. Scoopsy potato. So good. And here is a proper look at the uh, Snickers Doodle Cookie in the American Pavilion. It looks like, it, uh, looks like it's got a lot of uh, ooey gooeyness inside there. So when I break it apart, I'm hoping it's a soft cookie. We'll see. We're going to break it open. Look at the backside of this cookie. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's just stop. Oh, that was, I thought it was going to be a slow, like, break. Like, you know, you see caramel in between. Still looks pretty good, though. I'm glad that we tried this cookie. It's definitely not as soft as I thought it was going to be. And I like that it has like the crunchy caramel on the side there. But still a very good cookie. And I'm glad that we got to add it to our cookie stroll. The cookie is great, but honestly, I love this turkey dinner. And it's such a good price point for the amount of food that you get. You get a big pile of potatoes, at least three pieces of turkey, and the green beans all mixed in together. So we're going to snack this up and... Uh, move on to Germany. I was going to stop in Italy to see some more stories, but I think this rain is uh, probably putting all of the uh, Santas and storytellers on a rain delay. So if they open back up, I definitely want to make sure I see the barn Santa, like I said. So we got to get to Germany. We made our way up to the Germany Pavilion, and I'm so excited because I get to try the Hazelnut Linzer Cookie. This was my favorite cookie from last year, and I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be the same one, unless they changed it. If they changed it, then we're going to have to, you know, rearrange our cookie order here. This Linzer Cookie's looking real nice. Take a look at that bad boy. I don't want to lose all the sugar. I lost my plate. But uh, it's starting to be a little windy here, so I think we're just going to break into the cookie. Oh, don't want to lose the jelly too, but look at how much jelly's in there. Oh, I might eat all of this one. Look at that cookie. And now we went from chocolate fingers to powdered sugar all over my shirt. But I can't resist. And it's actually falling apart. And there's so much jelly in the center there. I thought that they were going to put uh, hazelnut in there. But I'm glad that they kept with the uh, traditional raspberry filling. Also, I have to point out that this is my mom's favorite cookie. And she didn't come down for this year's festival of the holidays. And she's missing out. You're missing out, Ma. You're missing out on the good cookies. Hmm. <laughs> As we were enjoying our Linzer cookie, I noticed some live music over here in the Germany Pavilion. And we played because back home in Germany, during Christmas time, we love to sit with the whole family in front of the television, watching Disney movies translated into the German language. That's why you now have to listen to this song from the Aristocats movie in German. Have fun anyway.
All right, enough of the cookie business. With that Linzer cookie, we have officially completed the cookie stroll, and we have all of our stamps, and we get to go up and uh, get the completer festival treat that uh, it's free. And I'm glad that we got to catch the, the German band that was playing. I thought they were going to play Christmas music, but then they started doing the Aristocats, and I thought that was interesting. After trying all of the cookies, I still think i got to put the Linzer at my number one spot. Probably the coffee at number two, the snickerdoodle, at three the black and white and then the gingerbread shingle or gingerbread tile i just love linzer cookies and you know i'll probably come back and try more of the food today it was all about the cookies and the cookie stroll and who knows maybe i'll come back and try the other cookies because i think there's nine of them all together yeah there's nine cookies so you can do this twice almost and try different cookies each time I am a little sad that I didn't get that other stamp from uh, the one booth. Only because, like I said, we got two of the Mali Kaliki Maki uh, stamps when I bought Kristen a cookie. And uh, now it kind of just looks like it's not complete. But it is complete. We just need one more stamp there. But I like to see all different cookies on there. I think it's kind of cool. And it's a, a nice souvenir to have. The barn Santa is coming out in one minute, and I think the rain stopped enough that maybe they'll uh, come back out telling stories. So we're gonna make our way to Norway. Oh, oh, there you all are. Oh, well, already assembled, are you? Oh my, and what a fine looking group. Oh, yes, and you, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, well, uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am the legendary Barn Santa. <laughs> Here in Norway, they call me Fios Nissen. <laughs> now, sometimes people can't see me, so they think I don't exist. And I Wait a minute, uh, you can see me, can't you? Yes. Oh, good, <laughs> yes, I can see you too. <laughs> now, this time of year in Norway, we like to say Guyul. So, on the count of Treya, let's all say Guyul together, shall we? Here we go. A to Treya, Guyul! Oh, ho, 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 very good, yes. Oh, it would be a Guyul, except every Christmas it's the same. Sigri, who is on her way here now, she doesn't see me because she doesn't believe I exist. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't mind if I use a little magic and mischief to help Sigri tell her story, would you? My name is Sigri, and I am the holiday ambassador for the Norway Pavilion. And I am so excited today to tell all of you about Christmases in Norway. It is said that this uh, this barn Santa is kind of old and, and rather odd and funny looking little fellow. He looks like this. You ready? I'm the barn Santa. Oh, the the cows. That's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Ma'am, did you say something? It's kind of an off day for me, folks. Uh, well, now, uh, Christmas. <laughs> In, uh, in in Norway is uh, 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 is my favorite time of year. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have very festive decorations. Oh, like this over here. And uh, the smell. Mm, yes, the smell of holiday cookies fills the air. Ha ha. Yes, yes. But here's the best part. Ha. Huh. In Norway, we have a three-day celebration. Toodaloo! Oh, yes, we celebrate with a party. We like to party. We like to party. We like to toodaloo! Oh, yes. And our uh, big celebration is... A Heidi and who do and toodaloo. A Merry Christmas season is good for me and you. A hot sun, a hot sun, a la 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 la. A julep bell and hot scallops on the barn floor. Do you know what it is? It's a barn Santa. Listen, there's always one. I'm gonna need you all to let it go because I just spent this entire show telling you that the barn Santa, sweet ones. He does not exist. Hey, it's, it's you. It's me. You're here. I'm him. It's him. The Born Santa. <laughs> <laughs> The barn Santa was so great. I'm so happy we got to catch him, uh, especially with this light rain. Now that we got to uh, see a couple Santas, eat a couple cookies, 
think we should go over and redeem our festival treat. There it is, the Cookie Stroll Completer Treat Pickup. And here it goes, my final stamp. I think they used that little stamper right there. I wonder what it is. Hi oh, guys. I was like, I have to stamp them, I forgot. Thank you. Winner, winner, cookie dinner. <laughs> and I don't even know what we get this year. It might be something different. Oh, thank you. That's what you get this year? Fancy. Appreciate it. Take care. A little something different this year. At the end, when you complete the cookie stroll, they give you uh, cookie batter. Happy holidays from our worldwide family to yours. You've completed our cookie stroll. Now it's time to create your own cookie at home. Look at that. I'm kind of tempted to make my own cookies. I mean, I got it, might as well, and they give you everything you need in there. That's kind of interesting, and it makes it fun. Sprinkles, mini M&Ms, and then they have the directions right on the back there. Five ounce gingerbread cookie mix, sprinkles and M&Ms, and then one ounce of water. That's all you need. A biggity bobbity boom. Now that I've gotten my cookie batter, I wanted to go through this scentsy smelling area. You just go sniff around and you can sniff all the different holiday scents. Maple, apple, bourbon. I was going to try to tell you what it smells like, but I don't think you guys would get it. I might as well just describe it from the description there. Oh, they have frosted cedar over here. You can smell it from right here. You don't have to get on your knees and like get down there and get it. Ginger cookie crunch. They all smell really cool. And I'm assuming these are all scents that you could buy in Scentsy. And it's kind of nice in this area. It fits here very well. I feel like we had a great day today. And walking out right now with this weather not being like covered in sweat is a new experience for me. It feels so good to have cold winters. It's been especially cold here in Florida the past couple days. Oh, I forgot. I want to stop in Communicore Hall and see the uh, show on the Gingerbread Spaceship Earth. They also have all the merchandise in here. Oh, there's the cookie stroll tin. That's so cool. Oh, I think the show already started. Here's a closer look at the merchandise. This is the figment sweater that everybody loves, including me. I think it's so cool. Let's see. $74.99, but it's so unique. And if you don't know, this is what Figment is wearing right now uh, in uh, Journey into Imagination. It's kind of like he has a holiday overlay, and he gets to own his... Uh, his own private Christmas sweater, if you like. And then they got a lot of other stuff here, too. Handbags, ears, and even some shirts. You know, they're definitely stepping up the merch here. I mean, this is cool. I thought immediately the second they put that sweater on them, they should sell the sweater. And I'm glad they started doing it. It took a couple years, though. I was going to try to ride Living with the Land, but I think the uh, rain just went away for a little bit, and now it's coming back. It, uh, you can feel it in the wind. The wind is picking up, so I think we might uh, call it a night. Tracy! Oh, look who's here! The most beautiful dog on earth! Since I had some cookies today, Gracie gets a cookie too. These are the Wolfgang Bakery cookies. Want a cookie? Yo, she almost caught that in her mouth! And with that, I think we are done here today. It's nice to have little chilly weather here in Florida. I got a sweater on, and now uh, I get to sit down, relax, and be cozy with Gracie for the rest of the night. It's sad that, you know, it got rainy at the end of the night. I was looking forward to staying and seeing Epcot all lit up, but I'm glad we left when we did. Like I said, usually you can feel it in the wind, uh, and it ended up uh, raining a lot. So we probably couldn't stay anyway, but at least uh, I avoided getting wet. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I can't wait to go back and check out more of the festival of the holidays to come. And I can't wait to share the month of December with 
with you. I got a lot of great videos planned and uh, a lot of really cool Christmas themed things that we're going to be doing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.